What is up, guys? John from 610 Collectibles back again with our second episode here of Surviving the Post-Pandemic Card Market. Today's focus is going to be on card shows, and we're going to highlight one of our upcoming shows that we're doing in Philly in about a, uh, two weeks from now. Um, so we're going to go over what we're bringing, what we look for at card shows, what you can look for at card shows, and how to make it out of card shows without feeling bullied and without feeling that you are overwhelmed and got taken for granted. So with that, like we said, coming up on February 6th at the Rivers Casino in Philadelphia, we are doing the second annual Fishtown Card Show. Uh, this is a great, great event that started last year that we got in on the bottom floor with that was actually at the Fillmore last year, if anybody was at that one. It was the weirdest, greatest atmosphere of a card show that I've ever been at that's not a big convention. Uh, last year's was a bit of, as I said, it was not your average card show. We had a DJ, we had open bars. It was so awesome. Brett put on a great show, and he's doing it again this year. The We did, however, move over to the Rivers Casino. Uh, larger space makes a lot of, of the uh, logistical aspects a lot easier. But Brett's got everything set up now over at the uh, Rivers Casino. February 6th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., we have a ton of tables, uh, all sorts of stuff, memorabilia, products, cards, slabs, whatever you need, this show is going to have it. So if this is one of your first shows you're going into, it's a good one to go to. Uh, Philly doesn't have, up until last year, Philly did not have many card shows, or any card shows for that matter, in the actual city. The only card show that people were going to was the big Philly show at the Valley Forge Casino. Now we have the Fishtown Card Show, and we also have um, a couple other small ones that are just also popping up. But for us, we love doing the Fishtown Card Show. We're hoping this keeps going every year, and we're hoping Brett keeps this one moving and it keeps growing. So we're talking about card shows and what's going on. Obviously, you've got to go into a card show understanding what you want. So if you want Pokemon, you come in, you're looking for Pokemon slabs. You're looking for the original ones. The 90s era, early 2000s, right? Um, if you grew up like I did, I was born in 93, so I grew up in the middle of watching Jeter. So if you're looking for Jeter, like I said, you got to know what you're looking for as you go to these card shows. This card show, like I said, is going to have everything. You're going to see um, very high-end stuff. You're going to see low-end stuff. You're going to see middle. You're going to see it all. You, you're not going to be disappointed going to this show. So... If you're going into this, if you're looking for slabs, they're going to be out there. We'll talk about what we're bringing and what we've seen from other places coming up. Um, if you're looking to get cards to grade, we'll show you where to get them. And also, if you're looking for cards that you just want to keep a stack of just in case, like I said, we do it all the time. We have our stacks of cards here that we keep on the side just in case, and we will... Be going over this stuff in our next episode of cards of what we're sending to PSA now with their new submissions level. So that, that episode will be coming out probably either later today, just after this one, or tomorrow, depending on what we can get done with our work schedule here. So the biggest thing is if you're going into a card show and you're looking for cards, like I said, you're looking for singles, you're trying to find the Jamar Chases, you're trying to find the hot rookies, got to understand where you're looking and how you're looking. If you're looking for single cards... It's always best to go look in those dollar boxes. You're going to see those big cardboard boxes. Those are going to be your godsend for finding cards. We find a lot of cards, good cards in there, very cheap cards. And you can get whole stacks of them. You can get, like I said, we have a stack here of Illusions Rookies from this year. You can go in and all these cards here are going to be going into our dollar box here. So, like you said, you're looking at a dollar a card. You can get some, most places, I can't say for, for all of them, we do it a lot. Our single cards, we, we want you to buy them. We want you guys to collect. We want your collection to grow. So when we see guys and kids coming for single cards, we usually give them great deals as best we can. So if they take a stack of 50, they're not paying $50, obviously. Um, because the more you take, that's the less we got to take home. So we like that. And we want to see you get good cards that you can send out and grade and that you can grow your collection. So always look for those dollar boxes and understand that if you, the more you pick up, the more sellers are going to give you deals. And that goes for across everything. Um, 
once you move away from dollar boxes, you'll start to find some higher end stuff like in one touch like this, whether it be autographs, whether it be rookie stuff, it could just be bigger cards like this, like some Genesis stuff, uh, it could be printing plates, it could be all sorts of stuff. Um, you never know what you're going to find. So you just got to understand and know what you're looking for so that you can hopefully move in the right direction for your collection. But um, that's where you're going to find your single cards. Though. You're going to find them in the dollar boxes. You're going to find them in the in one touches in some of those boxes. You can find very cheap autos. You can find uh, mem cards, whatever you need. You can find them in those boxes. So we're going to move to the graded stuff which is usually lately what we've been seeing is the big the big draw right so for fishtown last year we did very well um we were set up right near brett right in front of the stage and we had people coming in left and right um like i said it was one of the weirdest atmospheres i've ever been at in a card show but it was great like i said i've never seen a card show where guys are walking around with beers it was the funniest thing ever but we did great at that show and i, like I said brett contacted us and said hey you guys in. I didn't even have to wait for him to keep typing. I just said, yep, we're in. No matter what you need, we'll be there. Um, so some of the stuff we're bringing is we have a huge amount of 90s Pokemon. Now, this isn't just our... This stuff here isn't all we have. This is just some of the stuff we just got back from a CGC reveal. So, but a lot of our stuff is... Very high grades for 90s cards. These were bought out of a collection from a one of our chiefs where we work. Um, their son found an old collection in the basement wanted to get rid of it. We gladly took it off their hands. Got them the best price we could get them for their cards. And then now we're grading them. So, like I said, we have a couple hundred Pokemon cards we're bringing for this, for this show coming up. Um, and that's, again, that's not our big draw. That's just what... What we're looking at first here is stacks. Like I said, we're not going to go through each individual card, but just some of the stuff we're going to have. Like I said, old, old original promo cards. Stuff you don't really see much anymore. Stuff you, stuff that I wouldn't say is extremely low pop, but is definitely, is definitely still a uh, good piece for your collection. As we go through, like we said, we have a lot of... We have... We got the birds here. We got all three in 8.5. It's a good collection piece there. All three birds. We do also have these in first edition. We have a ton of first edition hollows. Um, we're still, we've been having them. We've had a couple go. Here's one of our Venusaurs we have. Um, I believe we sold our, our uh, base set one at our last show. Yeah, we sold our last Fish Town show. We just, we sold a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Um, a couple of good local channels were there picking up cards left and right. Hoping to see them again this year. I apologize. I don't have their names written down here. Um, but yeah, we have a whole bunch of Pokemon grade stuff that we're going to be trying to get rid of just to make some room in our briefcases and whatnot. So, like we said, we're not just bringing Pokemon cards. We are bringing bigger stuff. Um, the trout you see up here will definitely be there. Um, looking to get rid of these, uh, we have just a bunch of, we, a bunch of recent lower end stuff from PSA that's coming back. So, I said we got some Kobe's here, we got the Shohei, the Embiid, low pop, some Bryce Harper action. That's more Bryce Harper. And guys, a lot, and as we see prices on some of these... A lot of our stuff, we are still also kind of changing pricing. We we do understand the market change. We're in the process of doing that. Like we said, this is not our full-time job. So as we go here, we're doing stuff. But we are definitely looking at repricing a lot of stuff. But for you guys looking at pricing, you got to understand that the price on the tag will not be what you buy it for. Okay. Whether someone wants to call that a secret or not, um, like I said, we don't expect you to pay 125 If you want to, we're not going to fight you on That's great. You you respect the card. You respect the hobby. We get it. But 
we leave room for wiggle room and we leave you room for wiggle room so we can meet in the middle. That's how, that's how you make friends in this business. Um, you give deals, you work on stuff. Um, you're not getting stuck on prices. Uh, like I said, we made a lot of good deals last show and it's because we, we gave room to a wiggle. So understand the price on the card is not going to be what you're going to be paying. So a lot of Joe Burrow stuff we had in our last one, a lot of nines. Um, again, these will be priced and, and these will be in our, our, uh, hundred dollar bargain bin. Got some Jalen Hurts to, uh, more Joe Burrow, more Joe Burrow. We have stacks of Joe Burrow everywhere. More Joe, some Herberts. Vladdy Jr. Rookie Autos, Tyler Hero Autos. Some more Bryce Harper, Pristine Tens. So we're, we're gonna have a lot of good stuff. And as we talk about those we said a minute ago here, our $100 bin. What that is, and I'm not sure if we'll, we will be able to get it on, all in here. But, so for us, our $100 bin are gonna look like this. You're gonna see old wooden boxes. You're gonna see some other plastic containers. We're gonna have a lot of our cards stuffed in these, okay? These are gonna be our under $100 ones. These are gonna be, if you're looking for cards, these are going to be not your high end, but these are going to be definitely ones that are good for collections. Like I said, you're a young kid starting out. You got LeBron James, PSA 10s. We got Zion, PSA 10s. We got some local product here, Lonnie Walker. We got PSA 10s of him, BGS 95s, more LeBron James 10s. I mean, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff, okay? That is where if you're trying to get most bang out of your buck for lower stuff, you're always going to want to look. Most most shops are, or most tables are going to have those $100 bargain buy um, stands. So always look out for them, okay? Um, and, and again, understand that, like I said, there's going to be, there are so many different grading companies. If you're new to this, don't be scared by different slabs, okay? There sh this is a very, again, this is our favorite show we go to. And I say every year, it's, it's only our second one, but this one's going to become big. This is going to be the, the one to go to in Philly. Like I said, Brett puts on a great show. But understand that you're going to see different slabs. And understand that there's pricing levels for each grading company as far as what they're worth. And we, we as the collectors understand that. We as the seller understands that. So... Understand that an 8.5 and a Jeter rookie in SGC is going to be different than an 8 or a 9 in PSA, an 8 or a 9 in Beckett, and so on and so forth. So just understand that, too, that sometimes, like I said, you're buying the card, not the grade, okay? This is one that, like I said, I'm reluctant to get rid of. I grew up, I hated the Yankees. I still do hate the Yankees, but you respect the player. Um, so that's another one of those things where, you're buying those cards. So that, and we have a couple of good, decent SGC cards here from our last uh, submission here. Like we said, Charles Barkley, 7-5 rookie. I said, a good, cheap setup of cards here. Some good gem mint, some 10s. Like I said, stuff that's not going to break the bank, but you can start to build a collection. Okay? So that's what... Mainly, like I said, we're bringing this. We have briefcases left and right. We have stacks here that we're going to be pricing out, getting some stuff done here. Um, but that, like I said, at these card shows, just understand that you're going to get the most out of it if you talk, if you hang out, say hi to people. If you say hi to us and say you watch the YouTube channel, we will definitely give you a discount. We might even give you a slab. Um, we like to see people that follow us. We like to see people that have seen us at other shows. We still... Um, we still hook up with other people online for different stuff. Uh, one of our dudes, uh, Philly cards, 25, he has been our biggest help. He helps us out with some pricing stuff here and there. Uh, he's always a good friend of the uh, shop. 
Uh, we have all sorts of stuff. Like I said, Brett's been with us now the last year. He's been a big help. Um, wheelhouse Cards is around. They're big. Like I said, if you sit and talk and hang out and treat them with treat the hobby with respect, you're going to get the most back as you can. So with that, like we said, that's our quick little intro and our quick preview of the Fishtown Card Show for us. Uh, we're hoping to see you guys out there again, February 6th, 10 to 4, the Rivers Casino. Hit them up, Fishtown Card Shows on Instagram as well as Facebook. Uh, there'll be more info to come. You can buy, I believe there is tickets for this one. But uh, like I said, hit hit them up on Instagram, Fishtown Card Show. Again, February 6th, 10 to 4. We will be there. We will have our table set up. We will have um, some sealed product, all our slabs, some... Uh, card cases, whatnot, all the stuff to help you guys get into the hobby. So we will see you guys hopefully at the Fishtown Card Show. Again, like, follow, subscribe. We will see you guys next time.